Hey, all you cool cats. Ready for a little fun? Huh, that's what I thought. Pop talk. Scooby doo wah do wah Pop talk. The fun never stops, you know. Pop talk. If you're a nerd or a jock, run, don't just walk. You ready to rock, you got pop talk. Now, from Funko Hollywood, it's time for Pop Talk! Hey everybody, Brian Mariotti, Chief Creative Officer of Funko. I'm with Jonathan Davis, frontman and lead singer of the epic band, Korn. Thanks for having me you on. ready this for some hard-hitting pop culture I'm, questions today? I'm, I'm really excited. Okay, this is well, I for me. fire all this stuff at you. I would love to have right. you build your own pop. Tell us what you guys have at the end of the, of the show, and uh, feel free to be as creative as you can. Okay, cool. It should be pretty easy. Yeah. We always like to start off with, uh, what do you collect? Is there anything do you collect? I collect all kinds of crazy okay. stuff. Give me, give me one thing that you're um, just really passionate about. I love art, for okay. one. I love crazy oddities. Yeah. Be it um, anatomical preparations, aka bi-parts. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I have haunted artifacts. I have oh, wow. Anything in the, of the macabre and dark. Yeah, yeah. My house is full of it. It looks like a museum. I, I love the haunted, that's the first time we've heard the word haunted artifacts as a collecting. Uh, I love it. I just saw the um, Van Gogh come to life like experience oh, where they put, I, I thought that was just a, what a great way to, to take art, you know, like who could afford to get a Van Gogh collection of real paintings somewhere, right? But for people to see that in like, 3D and come to life and, and be immersed and in it. it, it Walk was around pretty... the painting, right? That's awesome. Okay, uh, I I've read that you like comic books. Yeah. Your three favorite comic book characters. Well, mine are a little bit different. I used to collect the Hellraiser comic books, okay. so I'd have to say the Zombieza be like Pinhead. Yep. Um, and then old school, I loved Batman and Spider Man. All right. Favorite cartoon growing up as a kid? Hands down, Tom and Jerry. Oh, there you go. There we go. See, I Adam, still watch it. I love it. I still watch it. I have it on at my house 24 hours a day. It's kind of weird when you come to my house. It's cartoons and really dark stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of balances it out. I know you're big into video games. I've read that. Uh, yeah. What is your current favorite video game to play? Right now I'm playing Destiny 2 a lot. Okay. Yeah, I like that game. It just never ends. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just mindless good fun. I love getting on at night in my den and I just go for hours. I like it. It's beautiful. Um, Okay, let's go to some a little bit more close to home. Um, the first music you've ever bought with your own money. With yeah, my yeah, own money, yeah, yeah. I was trying to think about that. Um, I think it was an Asia record. Okay. That, I think that's the earliest I can remember. Yeah, I mean, really, I bought Heat of the Moment. I think I remember Heat Asia. Heat of the Moment, yep, Asia, yep, all that. Yep. Okay, so uh, favorite all time song? I would say the first song that I heard that got me more into like into to rock and roll was my aunt played it for me on this little console in her apartment. It was Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin. Oh, wow. Okay. Because I have tons of favorite songs, yeah, but yeah. that was the one that kind of set me off yeah. exploring that kind of thing. That was the first time I heard something like that. I was really young. Yeah. And I was like, what is that? And that kind of introduced me to rock and roll. I love that. Now, she played on, on the guitar? She, wait, wait. No, she played on an old console. So okay. You remember the old from the 70s, yeah, the yeah. consoles with oh, the okay, record yeah. player you had yeah. in there? Yeah. I still to this day own that console. Okay. I have it in my studio when I oh, get geez. And when I get stuck or want to yeah. be inspired, I'll go rub yeah. it. I go in the studio and I sit with it. There you go. <laughs> it's just what started me out. There you I go. Know I know I'm weird. I do weird stuff. It's little rituals, but yeah, yeah. it kind of it kind of just worked. All right, got, okay, it. got you where you're going today. Everybody knows you're a huge horror fan. So uh, what are your three favorite horror movies? Oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, yeah. when we're just hopping in it. That's amazing, I love it. It's such a good one. Um, the Exorcist. Okay. Because that scared the, sh oh, oh, it yeah. scared me. And yeah. Salem's Lot scared okay. the okay. shit out of me. They were probably ones when I was really young. Yeah, yeah. I remember the twins in the hallway on The Shining, and I'm like, no. I thought, this, this, that this, was this, pretty this, intense. That, that wasn't working for me. Um, Freddy Krueger versus Jason in a fight, who wins? I told you there'd be some really hard questions for you. I mean, in theory, they both can't die, so there yeah. would be no winner. Yeah. Okay. I'd take that as an answer. I think they'd take an answer. <laughs> so what's your thoughts on like what people are calling like the new horror? And a lot of it can be way more psychological. A movie that sticks out to me is Midsummer. The whole movie takes place like in you know Finland or Sweden or something like that, and it's in the whole movie's in complete daylight, right? Wow. What, what, what do you what do you, what's your thoughts on like some of the newer horror movies you've seen? I mean, I really haven't seen any. To be honest, <laughs> sorry. Um, 
when I want to relax and, yeah. and sit down, it's mostly video games for okay. me. It kind of took right. over the movie thing, but yeah. the last, yeah. I don't even remember the last good horror movie I watched. Um, probably the Saw, some okay. movies Saw that was really good. Okay. Right. Um, I like that was a lot. So, uh, you know, you, you've made your way into uh, pop culture closer to our world uh, than in the music world. Uh, you guys appeared on South Park. Yes. Like, so, so how'd that come about? That's really cool, by the way. Yeah, it was really crazy. We just got approached by them to, uh, and asked if we wanted to be on the show, and it was, we were kind of blown away. Hell yeah, yeah. we'll be on it. They had us on, and we were just like, the whole story yeah. was amazing. We're this band coming to town, and of course, the Christians hated us, and we're that devil band. <laughs> it's a stereotypical <laughs> yeah, the, the, story. Yeah, stretch on that one, right? Yeah, they yeah, the stretch, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it was yeah, so much fun to do it, because we did it, we were out on the road, we were, I think, in Chicago or something, in the studio, and we did the whole show. Yeah. And then we nailed it. We were so excited. And then we get a call a little while later. Someone forgot to hit record. And we had to do it again. So we actually did it again in another in another city. And we nailed it even better that time. And my favorite part of it was getting to go to their studios and meet Matt and Trey. Yeah. And I had to do some other fix fixes or whatever. Yeah. And I got to meet them and see the whole thing. But when it debuted, I was just blown away. That's crazy. That's it's it's quite an honor, honestly. It I mean, really that, that's, is. It, it's really really cool. Um, okay, so near and dear to my heart, so I was all excited about when I heard you. One of your influences uh, growing up was Duran Duran. Why Duran Duran? What did you like about them? I love their clothes. I love the music, the, the, the yachts and the oh, models. Yeah. Yep, yep. Everything about them was just slick. Yeah. And I mean, when I, I was 13 when I probably when that first yeah. film came out, so it just was everything to me. I'm like, I want to grow up to be like that. Yeah. Boy, they changed uh, music videos, man, I'll tell you. Uh, my favorite song by them is The Chauffeur. What's your favorite Duran Duran song? The Chauffeur. Oh, look at that. One, we're brothers from different mothers. I love it. I actually okay. covered it on my solo tour. You're I sing it every time I go out, yeah. Oh my God. I love uh, that. That's actually it's pretty the best, cool. the best Duran Duran song oh, that's ever. Good, that's good to hear. All right, agree or disagree? I'm going to start getting some controversial topics here for you. Okay. The best Duran Duran album ever made was made by Arcadia. Election Day is pretty dope, man. Yeah, so I read the rose. That's a good album. <laughs> Such a good record. I know. Oh, you agree with it or disagree? I, I kind of agree. Oh, not look at that. All right, that's, I'm, 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 I, I feel say pretty the good. Best, but it's really good. It man. is a really, really good effort. Okay, so I got another one here. Corn. If you ever decide to do a side project with maybe one of your two or bandmates, would you do one with them? And if you did, would it be different than Corn? And what would it sound like, hypothetically? I think if I did, I'd, yeah, I'd do that with with one of the guitar players, probably, or even both guitar players. Yeah. Um, and I think it would be atmospheric and those guys make amazing noises yeah. and sounds on yeah. the guitars. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do the corn thing per se, but I think we could do something that was really mellow and a polar opposite of what corn yeah. does. Pink Floyd meets Roxy music. You're just gonna Perfect. Roll, roll it out. There, just I roll it out. <laughs> okay, you appeared on, I think, three hip hop albums. Like what's, wow. like what's, what's the connection? Are they just asking you out of the blue? They no, love we, voice, they let me, I think we really, we were, we had several hip hop influences in the band when we yeah. were playing with bass lines, 808s, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. And I grew up on hip hop. I knew a lot of that stuff uh, growing up. I DJed um, when I, you know, I was into Duran Duran and, yeah. and junior high and all that. But I also, once I got into high school, I got a job at a local sound company and I started DJing. And then I started veering off on that kind of music. And I just love hip hop. Yeah. Old school hip hop still do. Yeah, I know. Uh, De La Soul, Public Enemy, KRS-One, Eric B and Rakim. Oh, all, the best. That's the best. All, all really, really good stuff. Rakim, hands down, oh, the my best. Gosh. Yeah, I, I, I always say that my, my favorite rap song ever is Follow the Leader, and I think Rakim might be the best rapper. Mine's a Microphone Fiend. I love that. Oh. I bump that song before I go on stage yeah. sometimes. Yeah. It's a full microphone fiend, Rakim. Rakim. Spread the word. I love it. Okay, so talk to me about this. I mean, what's it feel like? I mean, I think it's just like, to me, uh, you know, a lot of people say, hey, like, what an honor to be popped, right? Yeah. So, I mean, like, what an honor to be on South Park. What's it like to be popped? And then, like, you know, how, how does this intersect with your world? Do you have people come I up mean, and have you sign these things? Yeah, I've been getting people to sign them. It was just really crazy because I was first introduced to pops um, by my kids. Yeah. They love them. And uh, my girlfriend's brother is a huge collector. And to be approached to be one, I was like, of course, I'm down. Yeah. And then they picked this version of me from that. This was like 1996, I believe, 96, 97. 
um, when I had the purple Adidas uh, tracksuit and they were sequins, they, they put the sequins in a little bit. I wish they could have made, we could have made them glittery, but it just didn't, it didn't work out. But it might be a special edition coming up. Dim maybe. Dim the diamond glitter collection. They gotta get the diamond glitter yeah. collection to get oh. it. But that's me at that time period. Yeah. And I was just blown away. It's just it's a huge honor. It's just been a long ride of just surprises and blessings. And this is one of them. You know what's so nice is you, you know that you're living on people's uh, office cubicles, shelves in their den, their man caves, all over the world. All over the world. It's pretty cool. Tell me about your pop. What, what, do, you, what do you got well, here? You going here? I that, just don't know. I can't find all I got is uh, I got limited options, man. <laughs> I would uh, probably gonna do this. There you go. That looks better. Here we go. I'm gonna finish this dude off. There we go. There it is. All right, Jonathan, we're gonna jump into some rapid fire fun. Favorite movie? Dune. Lynch's Dune. Wow. <laughs> so have you seen the new Dune? I bought it, but I haven't seen okay. it yet. Okay, I, I think you're gonna. I, I think you're gonna like it. Um, favorite breakfast cereal growing up? Fruit Loops. Okay, that's a good answer, by the way. Best childhood gift you ever got? My drum set at three years old. Nice. Favorite band memory? Selling out the whiskey. All right. Thought we made it. First car. My first car was a uh, Doo Doo Brown Honda Civic <laughs> stick. <laughs> <laughs> Women just flocking. Yeah. Women just flocking because of the color, I think. Yes. Uh, your biggest fear? Um, bad health. Okay. Uh, biggest boyhood crush? Um, I think it was, oh, Linda, Wonder Woman. Okay. Linda, Linda Carter. Linda Carter. Uh, most surprising karaoke go to song? YMCA. All right, well, there you, there you go. People. That would be that would definitely be surprising. What's a, what's a band that you'd be into that no one, what everybody else would be surprised by? Um, I'm really into 30s and 40s music. So my favorites, uh, I've been listening to a lot is Cab Calloway. Okay. That old big band. Yeah, yeah. Um, that Andrew Sisters. Okay. Um, wow. Doris Day. Hey, all, yeah. That, yeah. Did not think Doris Day was coming out of your mouth today. Hey Amen. <laughs> I pull influences from strange places. I, I, I love it, my friend. Everybody, Jonathan Davis from Corn. Thank you so much, my Thanks friend. Thanks for having me on, guys. Appreciate right. it.